Hello my fellow creative spirits. So it's been two and a half weeks since I last seen you guys, or talked to you guys actually. Um, so things have been a bit hectic. I've been preparing for my solo show, was, which was this past Saturday. Thank you guys for all of your support on social media, whether you're local or you are far. Um, it meant the world to me to see all of your support. Today, I wanted to talk about how to gain skills in art and how to improve at art faster. So there's kind of this uh, common misconception that artists are kind of born with talent and I honestly would like to say that this is far from the truth. When you see an artist who is skilled, usually it's taken thousands of hours for them to get to that point. So I wanted to kind of give tips on how you can begin your practice and your journey as an artist to gain skills. Um, these are the tips that I found helpful for me, of course, for everyone. There's going to be different roads, and there's no one road to take as an artist. So please take that into consideration when listening to my tips. So before I go into today's topic of discussion, I also wanted to give a huge thanks to my friend Chastity. She was a model at the show, and also she let me uh, paint her as the voodoo queen Marie Laveau. So that was really fun to do, and so a big thank you to her for that. So without further ado, here are a few tips for how you can improve in your art. So the first tip for improving your artwork is to draw or paint something multiple times. You're gonna have to draw it so many times and slowly over time you will improve at that subject. Uh, I remember looking at uh, Leonardo da Vinci who is known to be a huge master of his technique. Um, he did studies as much as 10 studies or even more before he actually came to the final painting. The second tip that I wanted to give you guys is to study the work of others. Look at the old master's work and if you can, do sketches of it. Practice their technique. How do they do their shading? How do they do the composition? When you start studying the old master's techniques, you begin to pick up on them and kind of turn it into your own habits. Tip number three, uh, draw from multiple different areas. So you can draw from photographs, which is my typically preferred area, but I also try to draw from life. Drawing from life has its own challenges. The subject might not always be completely still, and you have kind of a limited amount of time to work with that live subject. Also, change the way you draw. Uh, practice drawing with and without tools. Try drawing with the grid method. Try growing freehand, which is the hardest, but challenge yourself every once in a while to do it. Try to gain your skills in every area and every practice of drawing. Tip number four is go to a class or have a trained eye give you feedback that will be able to spot your mistakes, maybe even some mistakes that even you aren't aware of. So just keep that in mind that having another person correct your mistakes can save you a lot of time and can help you target your weaknesses. My tip number five is to put in the time. Like I said before, it's a commitment. A way that you can do this, you can try taking a monthly drawing challenge. I saw on social media that they do sometimes 30 days of art for several months. Uh, my favorite is October is Inktober. But this will really challenge you to put in the hours every single day. My tip number six is to target weaknesses. Smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. Just keep this in mind. If you hate drawing hands, draw them. Draw them tens of times. Draw them hundreds of times. Once you start practicing things that you're afraid of, you begin to feel less risk in taking chances, and you'll be able to push the envelope even more with every piece that you do. My tip number seven is to keep a sketchbook on you at all times. Whenever you have free time, whether you're waiting in line for something, start drawing. Get into the habit of just always drawing. I used to have this terrible habit in uh, high school to doodle on all of my papers, but honestly, I'm kind of happy that I did because I think that doodling all the time kind of helped me to gain my own artistic skills. And the final tip that I want to give you guys is to study the different fundamentals of art. I like to have a separate sketchbook where I kind of take notes on the fundamentals of art. So start taking notes, look online, you don't need to go to school for this. If you have enough willpower, you can actually do all of this online. Look up the fundamentals of light, composition, color, all of this, and start writing it down in your sketchbook. It's lifelong learning that you're aiming for. 
as long as you're constantly learning, you're constantly improving. But the minute you stop learning and just fall into your comfortable habits is when you will stop growing. So whatever you do, just keep learning and finding ways to learn and seeking out new educational opportunities to improve your, your practice. So that concludes today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my tips and if you guys have any tips of your own, please leave them in the comments. If you guys want to look at my artwork, any uh, works in progress that I have, be sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I hope you guys enjoy your day and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!